guys, my name is Tammy Sanders and I'm the creator behind Learning and Teaching with Preschoolers. So if you know me, you know I like to have a year-long planning calendar or a pacing calendar is what our district calls it. And we have to pace out our curriculum for the whole year. So normally I would do that on a paper calendar and you could get a free version of my paper calendar by signing up for my newsletter and I'll leave the link below. But this year, I'm stepping it up even a little bit more in regards to my planning. I'm doing everything whoop, everything in my OneNote planner. I want everything at my fingertips this year. It doesn't matter where I'm at. If I'm at the doctor's office, I want to be able to plan. If I'm sitting and I'm rubbing backs for nap time, I want to be able to plan. I want to have everything at my fingertips so I'm not having to spend a lot of time behind my planner on paper and doing it that way. So I get asked a lot of where do I start in regards to my pacing calendar and my year long planning. So the first thing you have to do is to go to your website or your district website and you need to find their calendar. So here is our calendar for next year all of our days of attendance, when our holidays are, when our professional development are, um, all of those things, vacations, all of that, first day of school, last day of school, all of the information that I get from here, I'm gonna go straight to my calendar and I'm gonna pluck it all in. So I know the regular school district starts here for kindergarten, but we get, with preschoolers, we get two extra days with nobody on campus, so it's not overwhelming for them to start our orientation. So school starts on the 12th, but I start on the 10th which is really great because the parents like it. They can come into my classroom very easily without the whole hustle and bustle of the first day of school when everybody's on campus. So I get two days to do orientations with our kids and really ease them into the school life. So that's the first thing I do. I go through all of the calendar and I mark out all of our vacations, all of our holidays, all of our professional development. Then I go to my curriculum. So here's my curriculum. I know I have to cover all of this within the school year. And it's broken down into units and it um, tells me everything that we need to do. So here's what's in my curriculum guide. And I'm going to put all of this into my calendar so I know when I have to start everything. So if you see here on Mondays, I use that as kind of my indicator of what I'm doing. So I'm going to do procedures for two full weeks in the classroom. Where do they put their coats? Where do they put their backpack? How do they wash their hands? Where, how do they sit at carpet? How do they transition from carpet to our activities? All that we're going to be covering over and over and over again for two weeks. Then I will start into our units and I put unit one, week one, and I know each unit has four weeks. So then I have um, it broken down that way and then I go into unit two, there again, week one, week two, week three, week four. So all of that's here on Monday so I know at a glance what unit I'm on, what week I'm on, and I usually put the letter two just because it's just a really quick highlight to me. So let's go back to August. I know unit one, if you go to my picture, is who we are. So all about me. So I know that I could be doing all about me here. I can do it for the full month. If you want to do the, for me, I could do the full month. I don't usually do the full month because there's certain other stuff that I like to cover. I'm going to cover the things that are in my curriculum, but I'm going to tweak it a little bit so that I can also maybe talk about some apples. So I'm going to put apples in. So I'm coinciding with what we're teaching and then I'm looking at themes that will be great companions to my curriculum. So that's how I do it based on that information. And what I really like is everything's right here at a glance. So as I go through, I have to schedule parent-teacher conferences. I already know when my DRDPs are due. Um, I already know when all of our teacher meetings are. So everything's right here at a quick glance for me to be able to see what I need to plan. 
So that's it in a nutshell, how I do it. So now, how did I get these stickers? People are always wanting to know, well, where'd you get the cute little stickers? Normally I would print them and cut them. You saw them on, on my page that you can get for free. But here I have a sticker tab. So when I'm looking at my themes, I'm thinking about, okay, what do I need to teach next? Or what coincides with what our district is saying we need to do. So here again, let's see, I might, you know what, at the end of, I think I'll go into like nocturnal animals. So let me show you how I do copy, copy. Then I'm gonna go to my pacing calendar and I'm in October. I'm gonna come over here to my side line over here at the side area because I don't want it to be copy, it's gonna be big and I wanna be able to shrink it down so I can place it where I want it. So let's come back over here. I have my friendship, friendship. This I'm gonna do probably down here through here as we're doing parent-teacher conferences and nocturnal animals. So I'm gonna just pluck that in here. This I'm gonna probably do for another week and I'll do nocturnal animals up here as well. And then for week, um, Week two, we start into family. So I will probably start doing a little bit of family stuff here and go from there. So that's kind of what I do. I'm looking at what our units are and I'm looking at what I can nicely fit into our schedule. So I hope that makes sense. Oh, this needs to be pulled down because this is still all about me here. So we're going to be doing pumpkins through here. And it's just a nice quick thing. My assistants can look at my calendar and go, oh, you know what? I know we need to start prepping a pumpkin patch stuff or nocturnal animals, whatever it is. So that's how I do my pacing calendar. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll leave links to everything in the description below so that you can grab either the free printable um, year long planning calendar, or if you want to check out the OneNote lesson planner for this year, I will leave a link for that as well. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, bye.